Hello world. Good to see you guys are doing all right. Uh I realize you guys have been missing me and my rapier wit, but uh there really hasn't been much to update you guys on. Um if you really want to know, I can give you a, a brief glimpse into what my days are like. You ready? Are you prepared? Here we go. See? Not that entertaining. That's why I haven't been doing these videos, but some of you guys have been wondering how I am, so here I am, updating you on the great latest and greatest that has happened to me. Um, a few weeks back, got released from physical therapy. I am no longer homebound. Uh, however, I am unable to leave my house due to the fact that I don't have a car. <laughs> Uh, so even if I wanted to go anywhere, I can't. Uh, I fell yesterday. Uh, I was trying to cross the street and came to the curb and fell over the curb rather than got up onto the curb. Um, as a result, I smacked up my elbow a little bit. Uh, my shoulders are kind of sore, my right knee got a little banged up, and my left knee got a good whomping. Um, so, I'm pretty sore today. Uh, but I think the, the most disturbing thing, or the most upsetting thing that's happened so far, uh, I was called by my surgeon this morning. He asked me to come in and get some more x-rays done. Uh, he looked at the x-rays, and he told me that I need to have more surgery. So, essentially what I'm going in to have done is your knee is made out of a joint, right? And that joint can normally bend, right? Like so. And it has a little bit of a give the other way. So, what's wrong is that when I popped my knee out of, out of alignment, what happened was that that tendon that went over the knee that basically helped it pull back uh, got a little too, stre or too stretched out and so what he's going to have to go in and do is basically take one of the metal plates out, possibly both um, push my knee back together reattach my tendon higher up so that it will have the proper amount of uh, elasticity um, put the screws back in and then close me back up now because I've already gone through surgery and I've already experienced the pain and I know how to deal with it and because this is a secondary surgery I guess I don't know why uh, it won't be putting me in the hospital as long, but I will be in the hospital for at least three days, which I am really not looking forward to because it put me in a pretty bad place last time I was in the hospital. So, well wishes, prayers, good vibes, everything you can think of to send my way, to help me heal, to help this whole process to kind of come to a close it would be really really helpful guys so there you go hope everything was uh, up to snuff for you guys remember I love you all you're wonderful people I'll talk to you later Good night.